What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks blog. This is me Sameer and in today's video I am going to talk about how you can clear your iCloud storage on your iPhone. So if you're constantly running out of space in your iCloud, well you're not alone my friend because if you have a lot of photos, videos or documents stored in your iCloud, there are chances that it can get filled very quickly. So make sure you watch this video till the end because in this video I am going to tell you few steps which you need to follow if you want your iCloud storage back. First, let's check your iCloud storage and to do this you need to open settings app and from here tap on your Apple account and select iCloud and choose storage. You will see a bar chart that shows how much storage you are using and what's taking up the most space. And in this case, it's WhatsApp and messages. Once you know what's taking up the most space, now you can start free up the storage. So first what you need to do is delete unnecessary backup of your iPhone in your iCloud. So to delete an old backup on your iPhone, you need to go into the settings app. Now tap on your Apple account, simply choose iCloud. And from here, choose iCloud Backup. And over here, you can see this is the backup of my iPhone. I'm going to tap on it. And simply, over here, I'll choose Turn Off and Delete from iCloud. And talking about backup, it's time to choose which apps are necessary to be backed up on your iCloud because not all the apps require backup. To see which apps are getting backed up to your iCloud, you need to again go into the settings, choose your Apple account, now select iCloud and choose storage and now you can see all these apps are getting backed up on my iCloud and over here in the bar section you can see which app is utilizing the most of my storage and that is WhatsApp for now. But talking about backup, which apps are getting backed up, I'll see that in backups option. Now choose your device which is iPhone 16. And over here, you'll get the toggles for all the apps you can back up to your iCloud. And for now, I'm going to tap on show all apps and here we are. You can toggle off all those apps which you don't want to back up on your iCloud. Hence, saving up some space of your iCloud storage. So I'm going to turn off uh, Genshin Impact and uh, Engine 2. And let me just fast forward this. I'll be back. So I have toggled off all the unnecessary apps which are getting backed up on my iCloud occupying unnecessary space. And now let's go back. Over here you can see WhatsApp is utilizing the most amount of space and to delete it you need to tap on it and simply choose delete data from iCloud and simply delete it. Permanently delete. And this takes me to our next point which is delete files in iCloud Drive. iCloud Drive is a storage service provided by Apple in which you can store your files in the cloud. So it is quite easy to delete files from the iCloud Drive and let me show you. Now you need to open Files app, select Browse, go back and choose iCloud Drive. And here is all my files and data which is backed up on my iCloud. And so I'm going to select Downloads and as you can see, all these files are unnecessary files which I don't require. So I'm going to tap on three dot button, select. I'm going to select all the files like this and simply delete it. That's it. Make sure that you are deleting files and data in the iCloud drive as you can see over here. So let's take one more example. Now I'm going to open GarageBand and again tap on three dot button, select. I'm going to select all three files and delete it. That's it. And moving forward, let's talk about photos and videos. We all know that these are the most, the biggest space hogs in your iCloud. And I'm sure you must be familiar with that specific prompt, your iCloud storage is full, which is caused by these specific photos and videos. So we will want to delete those videos and photos saved in your iCloud. Mind you, only want to delete those specific photos which are saved in your iCloud and not from your device itself. So for that, you need to open settings app, tap on your Apple account, iCloud and see all. And over here, you can see iCloud photos, tap on it, which is occupying 3.47 of GB. 
Now you can just turn this toggle off, stop updating and turn off. Once you do that, your photos won't be uploaded to your iCloud, hence saving some storage. But what about the old photos you have backed up on iCloud? And for that, over here you can see there's an option called Manage Storage. Tap on it. Now, simply turn off and delete photos. Now you might be asking Samir, where can we upload our photos? Where can we take the backup of our photos and videos if not on iCloud? Well, my friend, use Google Photos as it gives you 15 GB of cloud storage and use that particular app only to store videos and photos of your iPhone and leaving that precious iCloud space for your backups and all other files. And lastly, I want you to delete those unwanted messages, unnecessary attachments you get with spam emails and in fact, delete those spams as well. So to delete stuff, all you need to do is just go to the either messages app and simply delete those unwanted messages like this. Now let's go to the mail app and do the same over here. Select those unwanted emails like this and simply just move to trash. Again, do the same and move to trash. So, following all these steps will give you back your precious iCloud storage. But now let me tell you how you can back up your iPhone in the correct manner. So, first and foremost, you need to go into the settings app, tap on your Apple account, choose iCloud. And from here, you need to go into the iCloud backup and you can just tap on backup now and continue. It will start backing up your iPhone. And as you can see, we have successfully backed up our iPhone. And if you want to see what are the apps which got backed up, you can just tap on it. And here you'll get all the list of the apps which are backed up on our iCloud storage. So that's all for today's video. And I hope all these steps might have helped you with your iCloud storage. And if they did, then make sure to press the like button so that YouTube know we are doing some good work. And while you're down there, Make sure you subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every video we post about everything Apple. And in meanwhile, you can go to the App Store, download iGeek's blog app, enjoy everything Apple content and amazing wallpapers. On this note, this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one. Till then, tada. Yeah, bye-bye.